All right, here we go. <clears throat> okay, so last week, last week I'm in my car driving to meet George, uh, George the texter. Um, it, George is a good guy. He, he really wants to serve the Lord. He's busy like crazy um, all over the place, but um, he wants to follow the Lord. And, and so we agreed to meet. And So George is from my church, and we've been meeting um, about once a week for a while. But lately, it started out as Bible study, and now it's just talking. He talks about his boat. He talks about baseball. talks about his two, two kids, uh, five-year-olds, the twins. I've met them. They will be going to prison. So anyway, we're we're. Uh, I suggested George, let's do some Bible study. Let's do something. Let's not just talk. And he was up for it. He he liked the idea. He he said sure. So I thought maybe do something on, you know, the power of the tongue and our speech, or maybe something on uh, I don't know anger or even sex, and and then we'd have some prayer uh, while we're together. And he liked the idea. And um, anyway, and then this car comes out of nowhere, just screaming over in front of me, cuts me off, and I had to slam on my brakes, and uh, I mean, really hard. And, and so then I noticed the, the little uh, fish symbol on the, on the rear of the car, and then I noticed a bumper sticker that said, uh, Christians aren't perfect, just forgiven. And I had a bad thought. Um, I said, yeah, it was a lady driver, and I said, yeah, you, you, are not perfect and you need to be forgiven. And then I laid on the horn and you know, there's, there's different kinds of horns, you know, there's, there's soft horns and playful horns. And this was an angry horn and I, I anyway, and I'm late. And so I kept trying to figure out what I'm going to do with George when we meet, which is just going to be a few minutes from now. And, and I thought maybe we should just share something from my quiet time the last week. And that would be great if I'd have had a quiet time the last week. And I thought, okay, we'll just open our Bibles and we'll just read something and pray. And then I realized I forgot to bring my Bible, so you know we could find it here. And uh, but I just felt like a failure. I just that's when I heard the police siren, and um, I told the officer I was on my way to Bible study. <laughs> uh, yeah, he didn't buy it. LOL, man, this is great. It's just a bad day.